Temple basketball has only played two games, one non-conference game and one conference matchup. So take everything I'm about to say with a grain of salt, well knowing the Owls have had limited live game experience as well as practice time. The former a 72-60 win hosting NJIT and the latter a 76-50 road loss to Houston. I want to take a look at what we've seen from an inexperienced Temple team that is at its best when it shares the ball. Head coach Aaron McKee and his staff haven't gotten especially creative offensively, but have put emphasis on sharing the game and playing hard. In half-court sets, the Owls often look for quick hitters, like a 1-4 high set that brings a shooter across the top of a double screen, a diamond set in the key starting with a low man coming off a screen to look to create from the perimeter, a pin down leading to an on-ball screen to open up the floor, and weak side double screens on the perimeter each set with a chance to create in a free-flowing offense off the initial pass. Here's McKee responding to a question from Ray Dunn after the loss to Houston about how Temple can find success offensively. We're not going to beat them on one side of the floor. So we want to try to move the ball and get it from side to side and the ball. It just kept sticking. Anytime we got a chance to, to move the ball, we were able to get penetration and we were able to get some, some decent shots. Temple is averaging 61 points per game through two games, and its offense is largely predicated on having a free-flowing offense, whether that may be pushing in transition or setting up four out and one in. Despite an opening night scoring outburst from Damian Dunn or a really solid shooting night from J.P. Mormon against Houston, the Owls can't afford to lean on one guy in conference play. It has to come from a team effort. The offense seemingly stalls when guys are stagnant in the half court or rely too much on hero ball. Their best basketball comes from pushing the pace and moving with purpose, coupled with good decision making. It's also important to remember not only has Temple only played two games, but they've been without Caleb Battle due to a hamstring injury, and they haven't fully unlocked the offensive potential of guys like Ty Strickland and Brennan Barry. How an inexperienced team like Temple responds to adversity and makes adjustments throughout the season will surely be a determining factor for success as they get into the thick of conference play.